No defence wire comes in, no defence doors come in, no sandbags come in, no extra uh, shovels or picks to dig the holes that we want to get right down so you're looking out of a, a fire pit. Nothing like that comes in. So we, we're now last light. One roll of concertina wire. One roll of concertina wire. It goes for about 15 metres. That is the only defensive store I had in front of my platoon, besides my Claymore mines. And by the way, we had no protection. Like the soldiers had nowadays, they go out into battle and they wear a bulletproof vest. The only bulletproof vest we had was a, a green khaki shirt. We had no helmets. We had little floppy hats and, and shirts. And about 2.30, uh, all hell broke loose. And uh, we were under, suddenly under a very heavy attack. You, you, you can't imagine the sound of that. You've got big explosions, which are enemy mortars. You've got the artillery now just behind us. They're starting to fire. The mortars are firing. We've got artillery coming in from Tan Yuen, the big American guns. It is horrendous. You can't yell, you can't scream. You've either got to get right up beside a guy and, and, and give him the word of command, and even then you're screaming your lungs out. I try to plug the hole with artillery fire, calling it in very close, danger close as they call it, 25 metres out. And I move it left to right, forward and back. At this stage, there was a danger that the whole battalion could be overrun. Had the enemy come through that gap and had we not blocked them through that gap, uh, had they been able to regroup and come through that gap, uh, they'd have taken out the whole battalion. We'd have lost 700 men. I had to counterattack and take that position back. By the way, the enemy are very close at this stage. We're shooting enemy from Head of your way. It wasn't until around about 10 o'clock that morning that we'd secured the fire support base. By that time, we'd had a, a Sioux helicopter up in the air saying that the enemy are out here in their hundreds, pulling their dead and wounded away. I had seen quite a few enemy dead by then. And you, again, how to s say this without seeming to be some horrible beast. Um, you couldn't really look at them as, as fellow human beings. It would have turned you mad. This guy was gonna kill me. He's dead, get on with the war. But seeing your own dead, the guys that you knew, you'd train with them. Uh, and then we have a, a company service. Padre, prayers. We have a battalion service after that. The whole battalion gets together. And we go through playing of the last post, minute silence, the ode, uh, and then the war goes on. 